To start a new drawing, click this drop down arrow, click new, and select the Akadiso 3D template for metric units and click open. Now I'm just going to adjust my screen. I have here my reference drawing on the left side. And make sure to work on parallel projection and turn on your dynamic input, polar tracking, object snap tracking, object snap, and selection cycling. Alright, so I'm going to bring my drawing to, I'm going to start drawing the front view which is this one here so bring your drawing to front view so click custom view select front or you can go inside the view panel click this drop down arrow and select front all right so i'm going to start with line so type l for line command click anywhere on the screen for your start point travel to the right for 2000 200 millimeters enter and then draw a line from this point here up to this point which is 550 so L for line click the midpoint move your cursor upward and enter 550 all right as you can see here the crown radius is um, 1980. So what I'm going to do is create a circle. So C for circle. Click here or here. It won't matter as long as it's along this line. So I'm going to click that in point and enter 1980. Now I'm just going to drag this one. So move from quadrant to this in point. I'm going to draw a line from in point and just click that intersection. Now trim command, so type TR for trim command, enter twice, remove this one, this line, and enter. Now I'm going to apply fillet, which is the knuckle head, and the radius for that is 374. So type F for fillet, or you can Go inside the modify panel, click this drop down arrow, select fillet, right click, select radius, and enter 374. Click this curve and this line. Now I'm going to copy this one because I'm going to show you two ways. So copy selection to create a solid. Now to create a 3D solid object, I must first join all the segments. So type J for join command and just window the whole thing. Now if you click this one, you can tell that all the segments are connected. So it's one object. So type REV for revolve command. You can go inside the modeling panel, click this drop down arrow and select revolve. Select the object, right click to enter. And click this um, in point here and click that in point and enter 360 degrees now if I type PR for properties and select this object and as you can see here the object is 3d solid and for this one I'm not gonna combine the segments but I'm just gonna revolve this object so REV for revolve command select the whole thing enter take this in point to in point and enter 360 degrees now if I click this one as you can see here it's surface this one to its surface so to to convert this one to 3d object or three solid object rather uh, go to surface and inside the edit panel select sculpt command and just window the whole thing 
now if I double click this one and you can tell now it's 3d solid I just uh, showed you this example because sometimes when you connect or join the segments there is a gap and sometimes it's not gonna turn into a 3d solid object so what I'm gonna do is just delete this one and create a shell and the thickness for this uh, head is six millimeters so go to solid and inside the solid editing panel select shell select the object here and uh, remove faces so click this um, face here enter and enter the shell offset distance which is six millimeters so enter six and enter all right i'm just gonna turn off the grid and uh, we are done please don't forget to subscribe by hitting that subscribe button and the bell icon or the bell button to get notified for the next tutorial thanks for watching see you again